Libra, today is your day. You will find balance, health, and happiness by keeping your eyes open to the small detail. If it were that easy, I can't even find a knife that cuts, much less a good job. Talking to yourself again? <laughs> Why not? Who listens better? Do you want some coffee, Mom? Is it fresh? Are you going to have some? I, I just made it. I'll have some with you. Mm, okay. It smells great. I'm almost too tired to eat. I can cook, but I can't eat it for you. It's a good thing I love to cook. It's about the only thing that's gone well for me today. Sandra, give it some time. You almost just got into the city. You're a good worker. You'll find a job soon. How many? Three and a little. I had such a hard day at work today. Oh, and then your uncle Tomas called. He has diabetes. Oh, no. And my feet, they're so swollen and I'm so upset. A customer came into the bakery today and she told me that Dr. Sayas is retiring. Imagine now I have to start all over again with a new person tomorrow. Dr. Wells, how do you know? Dolores called me with the gossip. She said the doctor didn't have a wedding band. Oh, this makes me very nervous. You never know what kind of a doctor you're going to get. All these doctors are the same. They try to take the fun out of life. No salt, no sugar, no fat, no flavor, no nothing. How are you supposed to live without salt, sugar, and a, and a little bit of grease? The doctor I saw last year said I had problems with my blood pressure, my cholesterol, too much fat around my belly, blah, blah, blah. And then he said I might have something called metabolic syndrome. And he wanted to do more tests. Oh, that sounds like what Tomas had before he had the diabetes. Did you do the tests? No, I didn't want them to poke me again. What, for more bad news? And then he said I should lose weight to prevent myself from getting sick. Like it was just that easy. Are you at least taking your blood pressure medication? Sometimes. I don't think it helps. I mean, I feel fine. I don't have symptoms of anything. And all it really affects is my pocketbook. And you know, I don't even have health insurance right now. Well, Tomas said that they told him he had to take care of this, this metabolic syndrome, whatever they call it. He said that they told him that it was early stages of diabetes and, and heart disease. And I don't know what else. They also told him that if he didn't take care of it, it could get worse. What did he do? Nothing. And now, look at him. He has diabetes. Are you saying that this metabolic syndrome can give me diabetes? Please, I have diabetes in my blood. You have it, Grandma had it, and now you're telling me Uncle Thomas has it too. If I get it, I get it. That's life. And by the way, did you take your medicine today? No, not today. But it's only because I ran out of my pills. And anyway, I don't think it makes a difference for me. There, you see? But you're young. You have all your life in front of you. I want a better life for you than the one I have. I want you to be happy and healthy. Dr. Saya says that for some people, salt raises their high blood pressure. I was told that too, and just our luck, all of our favorite foods and ingredients all have salt. I mean, what else has the same flavor? Well, he told me that we can use other spices to make our foods tasty. He said that in some days or weeks, I won't even miss the salt. <laughs> yeah, right. Who's he trying to kid? And what, now you don't like my cooking? I love your cooking. You cook like my own mother. Look, I don't want to make you upset, okay? So just cook as you want. I've noticed that since I got here, you haven't exactly kept a diabetic diet. You know, that is my business. I don't want you to have to cook and eat like I do because I have diabetes. It's not your fault I have diabetes, but it is my business to make sure that you stay healthy. High blood pressure is no joke. That's why they call it the silent killer. You think you're fine, but you're not. And it can kill you. Ha, oh, please. If I wanted drama, I could watch a soap opera. Besides, they can call it what they want, but to me, it's just numbers. The last time I went to the doctor, he said my blood pressure was 
170 over 90. But no one even bothered to explain what that meant. Did you ask him? What for? To get to understand your body better. That's the doctor's job. I know you want to put this trouble on the doctor, but you know what, Sandra? It's your job to learn from the doctor. I have to live with diabetes. And if you can prevent yourself from having it, you should. Mother! I'm not diabetic. Just naturally sweet. Maybe, maybe my attitude will change with Dr. Wells. If you give me a good report, I might have to check it out personally. You think life's a joke, Sandra. It's true, you don't have diabetes yet. But if you keep on doing what you're doing, you will get diabetes. And it's a lot of work. Better to laugh while I still can than to cry. <sighs> that I agree with you. Sandra, I don't know everything there is to know about diabetes, but I'm trying. It's hard for me to follow the recommendations of the doctor about how to avoid sugars. Look, here I am, having coffee with sugar and craving a piece of that delicious chocolate cake that you made yesterday. I know, I know, but it's like, it's like if the sugar that's in my blood wanted more sugar and I wanna feed it, I wanna give it to it. But then on the other side, I want to control it. I wanna feel better. It's just so much work and I don't want you to have to go through all that work like I do. Worrying is more work. Life is too short, you have, to, you have to live for the moment. I don't have diabetes and here you are telling me what to do. You have diabetes and you're not doing what you're supposed to do. It's true. I have diabetes, but you can prevent it. What, are you giving up? I've heard that people with diabetes can prevent serious health problems by changing their diet, exercising, and taking their medications in the amount that they're supposed to at the time that they're supposed to. And you, you can prevent these problems that occur when, when your blood sugars are out of control. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to end up half blind with heart problems and kidney problems and an amputation like grandma did. I mean, that is work. And for me, it, it's, it's different. I, I don't have diabetes and I'm not about to give up all of my food until I have to. Our, our, whole, our whole family loves food. And that's why many of us spend more time at the doctor's office than in our work. Everybody wants to lose weight in this family, but no one can. Just listen to Tomas. Okay, maybe you have a point there. Dr. Sayas told me that if I lose a little weight, I'll be able to control my diabetes. He told this to Tomas years ago to prevent the diabetes. He didn't do anything about it. I'm sorry, Sandra, but you could lose a little weight yourself, you know? <sighs> the last diet I tried, I gained all of the weight right back. M Mother, you're starting to sound like those doctors. No, I'm only repeating what the doctor said. And I want to feel better. And I want you to be healthy. All I need right now is a good man. A man that appreciates little big hips, so, so some meat, something to grab onto. <laughs> you know what? I think that if you keep on eating all those unhealthy foods, it's like marrying the wrong man. It's only good for a little while. Okay, that's something that I, I do know something about. Oh, and by the way, I heard that uh, Dr. Wells is very good looking. Mm -hmm. If you want, I can make an appointment and you can go with me, yeah? <laughs> I, the food is almost ready. Why don't we eat and watch the soap opera? It looks like Marisol is pregnant and I think the father of the baby is Sonia's husband. When Sonia finds out that her husband is cheating, <laughs> why don't you go and turn up the television, I'll bring the food. You get some of that Italian bread with the butter mm. and bring me a glass of Coke. Hurry up, I don't wanna miss anything. Mm. My mouth, it feels so dry like cotton. I'll have regular Coke. You're so thirsty all the time and you're always in the bathroom. Didn't Dr. Saya say that that was a sign that your blood sugars were way too high? So, who's the doctor now?
All this hypertension stuff, this medicine stuff, the diabetes too. I'm not afraid. I'll take care of you tomorrow. I'm going to bed. <laughs>